Hi everybody, I'm here to do a little um, science experiment. It's also a colour experiment this week. Um, I'm going to um, make these flowers that I've drawn on this very special paper um, separate into different colours. Because we talk a lot about colour mixing um, in foundation stage. We do lots of colour mixing with our paints and um, with our crayons. What we don't talk a lot about is colour separation, which is the opposite. Okay, and this should hopefully show you how um, these colours in particular, they demonstrate it very well, which is why I've chosen these, how um, different colours are often made up of a range of colours inside of them. So, what you need for this is some special paper. So this is filter paper or chromatography paper. Um, but what you can use is um, coffee filters. So they are available from the supermarket if you would like to get some. Um, you need some felt pens, uh, just something to lean your uh, paper on, which is what I've used this old plate of ours, um, a glass of water and something to drop the water on. And now I'm using this great big baster However, um, you could just put some drops on a bit more simply than that. Just pour a few little drops onto the paper. So, it's quite a quick experiment. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a little bit of water. Okay, don't want too much. And then I'm going to drop the water onto these flowers, which I have already drawn using the green and the brown felt pens. Let's have a look, see what happens, shall we? So, it takes a little bit of time. But, so, already, I'll focus in on to the brown one. Already, can you see there's lots of different colours coming out? So, there's some blues coming out. Um, Oh, there were also some oranges that came out and you can see those. These are coming around here, the oranges. It's just going to show that this brown colour that we have used is made up of lots of different colours inside the ink. So look over to the green one. So on the green one, it separates out and you can see, can you see the blue and the yellow? You can't see the yellow as well. Let me get my other one. Mm, yeah, so this is the one that I tested it on a minute ago. Can you see how um, well the blue and the yellow are separated in that green just there? It might happen if I were to leave it a little bit longer, but obviously I don't want to leave you guys for too long watching just a still video. So the green is made up of yellow and blue. And we knew that because we talk about... Um, colour mixing but this is all separating it out into the different colours and the brown looks as though to me it's made up of red and blue or maybe orange and blue okay so there you go you can see all those different colours there's a little bit of something different for you to try this week if you get chance hope that you've been trying some of our other experiments I know some of you definitely have because um, I've heard all about it so enjoy Take care. One more week left, guys, till we see you back in school. So, I shall see you again next week in school. Yay! Bye!